uh, this thing has evolved over a very long period of time. Uh, it graduated from uh, producer consumer dialogue into the International uh, Energy Forum. And now we hear um, more noises uh, uh, from the um, big economies of the world that um, something ought to be done to uh, put um, energy um, uh, prices in, in a more uh, moderate, um, controllable uh, levels in the interest of uh, maintaining healthy growth of the international economy. That's uh, that's very very good sign. It's a far cry from the time when they, they didn't want to even discuss uh, prices. Well, I think um, you you can't uh, push this thing too fast, too soon. You have to allow it to, to evolve uh, in a more uh, orderly fashion, uh, more natural way. But obviously you, you don't want to take forever uh, over this uh, development. You want to do it uh, as expeditiously as possible and reach some some better understanding as soon as possible. But uh, reaching understanding uh, with so many groups with disparate interests um, naturally will take a bit of time. But uh, we have to be patient, but uh, try and push it as, as quickly as we can. Uh, the key issue is it's always the same. Uh, that of um, more, more determined cooperation between um, major consumers and major producers to arrive at um, parameters that are, uh, are good for both sides, that they will evolve into a win-win uh, situation for both sides. And um, having said that, as I said, um, we've come a long way. Um, producers and consumers uh, weren't talking to each other in the first place. Then they started talking to each other, and it evolved into this International Energy Forum. Now they're talking about, um, if you heard what happened last time in Rome, when the G8 energy people were meeting, and they were talking even about um, instituting a band uh, of, of prices for oil so that uh, fluctuation can be uh, uh, contained uh, within moderate limits. And uh, that's, uh, that is something. And if we can work out uh, <clears throat> a good formula for that, uh, it will be good uh, for everybody. Obviously, um, the formulas that were suggested in Rome are a little bit, uh, a little bit complex, and uh, we have to find a way of simplifying uh, what was postulated and uh, uh, making it into some form of workable uh, uh, framework uh, that um, can be easily, uh, easily operated uh, if and when we arrive at a conclusion. The information is uh, is important. Data is uh, very important because without accurate data, you you'll be beating about in the bush, you're working in the dark. If you have more information, more data, you're able to uh, assess more accurately what is going on, and you're in a better position to design ways and means of of, of dealing with problems when they arise. But when you don't have accurate data, then uh, uh, you you have very little chance of of coming up with uh, viable solutions. So data is important and. Uh, uh, I don't think we can stress that enough. So uh, we're happy that uh, this uh, oil data initiative has taken root and that people are, are taking it seriously and are cooperating with the institution to, to provide uh, what information is required uh, so that we can know more transparently what exactly is going on.